Now, to tie Snatcher, I'm using two threads. The first thread I'm going to be using actually is a floss. This is uh, the Glow Bright floss in shade number four, which is a red, fluorescent red. Now, simply, we start at the eye of the hook and start to come down. Just touch and turns. At this point, I'll remove the base piece. This is a fine silver wire, which is going to be for the rib. Now to save bulk, I'm going to tie it on the side and all the way down. It's going to protect the tag which I'm going to form with the thread or the floss and obviously the body as well. Now I'm taking it down right to the just around the bend and come back up in about half a dozen turns or so. Now some black seals for. Don't need a lot. Stub it onto your thread. Just wind it on. Now, one of the colours I like in the light bright is this nice deep blue light bright. Um, I'm going to use that on the outside of this, the seals fur. Now, all I do is take some of the, the blue and basically dub it on top of the seals fur. And it just spreads the glitter on the outside. Don't want to put too much on. Just dub it on and then basically just wind it up forming your body. Don't worry if you see some of the red through. I'm not doing the fly any harm. Just work it all the way up to about basically thorax length from the eye. Carry on with your Floss up to the eye, and then what I'm going to do here is change, change over. The thread I'm going to be using is a Uni 80 in black. Really, what I'm going to do here is tie over the top, the floss, and then removing the waste piece and the floss itself. Now the hackle, the body hackle, is a black saddle. Now. It's just basically isn't a nice fine saddle hackle. Don't want it too long. Remove the point, or the fibres from the stem, sorry. And then tidy up. What I'm going to do here is just a full turn or so at the top and then quickly run down with the, th uh, the, the hackle itself. Now, what I'm going to do here I don't want to take the hackle right into the tag itself. I want, don't want it down there. I want it to start above the tag. So what I've got to do is bring the wire around the first turn and up towards the body. That'll protect the back of the the tag. And as well, as I wind up, form the rib and tie in the hackle. Let's break away the hackle itself. Just throw anything forward anything that's going towards the eye, draw it back and bring the last turn up of your wire and then across your thread that 90 degree bend into the wire I always do that because it's much stronger to do it and then bend and break away the wire now get see, some velcro and bring out some of the flash and some of the, the fur into the hackle basically what this does, it softens it really up Looks like you're destroying it slightly, but to be honest with you, it makes the fly much better. There you go. It's a good job. Next, now this is if you, this is an addition to the fly. Now it's been working extremely well, and this is dyed red pheasant tail, and it's been ready to be knotted. It's pre-knotted. You can buy them like this. Now all I'm looking for is two. Knotted fibres each side of the hook. Now I take four off, obviously, and then take two each either side. Get the length I would like. Now about there is fine. And then a couple of loose turns, and then tighten up with a single turn just to see how it's sitting. Just look at the the way they're sitting on your fly. If you're happy with the position of them, then just take away the waste. 
And again, I would tidy up. Take the thread down and back up. And that's your legs tied in. Now, again, this is an optional. You can do this, so it's up to yourself. And if it a jungle cork eye, this is a single jungle cork eye, which has been split. All it's done is split right down the middle. Now I'm going to tie on the black area of the jungle cork. I'm just going to force the one down either side. Just hold them and then do a couple of loose turns just to tighten up. Just position the jungle cork where you want it to sit. And that is fine. And then again, trim away the waist. Tied up again. Now to finish off, I'm going to get some more the black seals for. Do it onto your thread. Nice and tight, and then form like a thorax. Just build it up. Tighten your seals for up as you go. Always put a twist in, because as you wind it will probably loosen. And when you get to the eye, just stroke anything that's going forward to the eye, just stroke it back and then get tons of thread in front. This should lock everything back out of the way. Tighten up. Now, you can add varnish once you've got finished, but what I like to do is, because it's such a small head, put the varnish onto the thread, come in and put finish. Tie off. Show me the thread. And there you are. And that there is a cracking wee snatch I should have in the box.